Coach Marshall, if you get us up with something quick. Yeah, that was a, that was quite a battle, quite a game. Uh, I guess a very good team with a tremendous atmosphere. I mean, that's that's why winning it on the road is so difficult. This is a great atmosphere tonight, and uh, both teams really fought hard. Uh, we, but eventually, uh, I think we won won it with our defense in the second half. It wasn't pretty on the, in the first half. We gave up 35 points after the review. And uh, 23 in the second half is more to our liking. So uh, we didn't shoot the ball nearly as well as we did in the first half, but in the second half it was about our defense and rebounding. Questions? Coach, would you talk about the fact that every night these days you're going to get the opponent's best effort? You've got to keep your team focused on that sort of thing. Yes, sir. We understand that. Um, these guys are very mature uh, despite their young age and um, and we, we've, we've been pretty good on the road for quite some time now. And this is, this is quite a, uh, an atmosphere tonight, and it's a great atmosphere for them. Uh, I'm happy that, that, that they came out. They should support this basketball team like this. It's a good team. And got some really fine seniors that have uh, put a lot of work into this program. So tonight um, we were just able to, to score a few more baskets. That's it. There was not a lot separating the two teams. For you, the players, what what went into the uh, in, increased? It looked like defensive intensity in the second half. Again. What went into the increased defensive intensity in the second half? Just being more engaged. I gave up a lot of plays in the first half, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get chewed out in the film. But we just gotta come back and be engaged next time and try to get that win. And we fought harder in the second half, and I think it was me and a couple other guys that. Just try to blow down and make some plays on the defense and offensive side. Greg, uh, anything in particular in the last five minutes that you wanted to take away? Indiana State didn't get a field goal in that period. Uh, um, you know, we wanted to keep Odom in front. And I thought C.J. Uh, Shadrach Lafield did a very good job on his hedging and uh, moving his feet as he was really working that high ball screen with Gant and trying to turn the corner, and we were able to keep him in front. When he can't get to that paint, uh, it, it helps us uh, on the defensive end when guarding Jake Odom and their team. Um, the very last few possessions, we switched uh, ball screens and, and handoffs and flips. They do a really good job with the flipping. They dribble in and then turn their back and flip it. They got us three or four times in the first half. But it, it, late in the game, uh, when it became a six-point six game, two threes would tie it, so we, we, we switched that a couple times. Indiana State had missed six free throws in the last five minutes. What's going through your mind when they keep getting opportunities and you, you keep getting a, you, you, know, you keep yeah, we, we, we missed some free throws too. I mean, we had, uh, I thought a big play was when, when Fred, who normally knocks that one and one down, he misses and CJ goes over the back. That was a big play. And um, Darius missed a two-shot foul. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of riding on this. Both teams, um, they, they had a lot at stake. We had a lot at stake. And you know this, we, we end up shooting 63, which is not good for us, but it's not awful either. And they shoot 71. So, in the grand scheme of things, they really they really improved their rebounding against us. Uh, we don't usually lose lose on the glass, but tonight tonight we lost on the glass. They got a lot of um, second chances, and we didn't. What have you done to make Chadrick a better free throw shooter this year? I know his percentage is way up. You know, Pat, I haven't done anything. He gets the credit. This guy, every practice. After we do our normal practice, we shoot free throws every practice. He then goes and shoots another 100 to 200 every game. And um, every, every day, every day, he stays in the gym with the manager, gets a ball, and goes over and shoots free throws. And tonight, um, boy, 10 rebounds, 8 points, and uh, 4 for 6. And he, they look good. Those free throws look good. I, I, was, um, I was confident and happy when he went to the line because of all the work that he's put in. He can draw from that that time in the gym and in that experience. Great, putting Ron on Manny Aroff seemed effective in the second half. Tell us about his defensive effort. Uh, you know, Ron does a good job defensively. Moves his feet. He's tough. He's strong. Uh, he's very he's very underrated defender. Um, I thought. Um,